Or even that old hag, you know, your old ball and chain. That ain't going enough. <laughs> oh, hell of bid, it's your boy Big Bid B, and we back for another edition of Big Bid Business. Today, I figure we have a quick discussion on how to build your fragrance wardrobe. In my opinion, I think it's important for a man to have several fragrances. And that's not just because wearing one every day for the rest of your life is boring, but also because we experience several different moods throughout a week and fragrances are a great way to express those moods and those experiences. Personally, I feel a man should have a fragrance for each and every mood he experiences. And the best way to accomplish this is to build up a fragrance wardrobe just as you would a fashion wardrobe. Which is why I believe that curating a fragrance collection or fragrances for each mood you experience makes perfect sense. For example, not every fragrance works well at night and um, not all fragrances work well in the same season. Like I was having a conversation with someone today about wearing oud fragrances in the winter versus the summertime. So just remember, not all fragrances work for all situations, which is why we're having this conversation. Like fashion, wearing the correct fragrance is more about the context. For example, you probably wouldn't go to a black tie event and a camouflage shirt and a green hat. I mean, you could because they wouldn't see you, but you probably wouldn't go in like a, you know, a distressed jeans and a logo tee because it just doesn't work. Just as you wouldn't wear Tom Ford Noir Anthracite in a close encounter situation. I mean, unless you don't want to get in a situation. So with these things in mind, here are my thoughts on how to build your very own fragrance wardrobe. Therefore, it doesn't just house your signature scent, but it has something for every occasion. A question that I often get through messages, email, Snapchat, it doesn't really matter, or in person, is how many fragrances should I have? I think the question is more so for what situations should you have a fragrance for? In my personal opinion, your fragrance wardrobe should start with these five foundational fragrances. Your five foundational fragrances should include your staple fragrances, professional wear, that evening or close encounter scents, sportswear, and those holiday basics. All right, so here's the deal. There are staple items of clothing that probably deserve a place in every man's wardrobe, like a great white button-down shirt or even a leather jacket. And they deserve a place in a man's wardrobe because over the years, man, they've proven their versatility. And to that point, there are a few classic fragrances that I believe are worth investing in as well. Now, when I think of a staple fragrance, I think of that classic fragrance that's been around forever or that workhorse fragrance that gets the job done in most situations. For example, some of you guys out there might opt for a fragrance like Dior Sauvage. You might go for Prada Carbon. You might go for, you know, Boss Bottle. Others might choose Loam, Blue de Chanel, or Aqua de Jo for their staple fragrances. Now, it can be difficult choosing the right outfit for work. Trust me, I just went through this like the other day for maybe like 35 40 minutes and choosing the right fragrance for work can be difficult as well if you're not a fragrance reviewer or a hardcore collector you might opt for something that's light a citrus base or one of those barely dead fragrances now most of your staple fragrances can work in the professional environment as well but some of you guys out there might opt for something like Creed's Millicene Imperial. Other fragrances that work really well for professional environments are going to be fragrances like Aqua de Jo Profumo, you got Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver, and Chanel Olor Eau Medicion Blanche. Now I did four reviews on most of these fragrances that I'm talking about today, so if you care to hear about how I feel about any of these fragrances, I'll have them linked below so you can check them out. Now early in my fragrance reviewing journey, I did a video on Jim Sense. I did a video on the fragrances that I wear when it's time to pump some mind. To me, sport fragrances are made to invigorate the senses and to perform well when you're working up a sweat. Or if you like me, just sitting on the couch and talk about working up a sweat. Now, my fragrance is probably at majority of you guys' uh, sports list is Chanel Allure Own Sport. A fragrance like Chanel Allure Own Sport combines those fresh citrus notes with that spicy black pepper, and that could create a great gym scent. Other fragrances that can do well in those gym type of environments or sport environments are Nougat Cologne, Nautica Voyage, or even Burberry Touch. If you care to check out that video, I'll link it below. You know, one of the most important types of fragrance that needs to be in your fragrance wardrobe are those evening or close encounter fragrances. If you're like me, most of us use fragrances I guess in a way that animals use fragrances, you know, they use them as scent markers, like to make identity, you know, to say, hey, this belongs to me, baby. Sometimes you gotta mark your territory, you know what I mean? Which probably explains why we opt for stronger, more impactful fragrances for those close encounter situations. 
Now, when you about to press up on that boo thing, you know, that new lady of yours, there are a few notes that you might want to look out for. Notes like vanilla, saffron, amber, and musk, they come across as more naturally seductive and sensual scents. Now, that stated, there are a number of fragrances out there on the market that can help you advance your position. Fragrances like The One, Tobacco Beni, Noir Extreme, Stronger With You, or even the new Tom Ford Beni Fatale are great fragrances for those close encounter situations. Now the final fragrance type that should be added to your fragrance wardrobe is those holiday basics. Now I know a lot of you guys out there from all over the world so you may not celebrate the same holiday. So think about the importance of those holidays and what the fragrance invokes. So if you in the US you know any of your uh, close encounter fragrances might work for Christmas time. Christmas, um, Thanksgiving because those are cooler times and you might want to feel more warm and inviting all right you might want to party more for your birthday so you might have something that bangs out like boom i'm here so that's your final piece man go through your fragrance catalog you can kind of move them back and forth and see which one works for you so there you have it those are your building blocks for a basic fragrance wardrobe now clearly you don't have to own every fragrance that i mentioned here today but those are some great starting points if you don't have much if you're looking for some new fragrances then check these out and as with traditional clothing you will develop your own style as time goes on. You'll see what works. You'll see what doesn't work. And then, aha, you will have a fragrance wardrobe. Most importantly of all, no matter what happens, if you take this advice, you're going to smell good in any situation. Make sure you comment below and let me know what your favorite fragrances are and what situations they work best in. I'm your boy, Big Bid B. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend that we back again. Okay? And if I helped you build your fragrance wardrobe, then hit the goddamn bell.